I don't think I gotta explain too much to you boys in this one. Because you read the title. You saw the thumbnail. It's fucking time for that Tokyo Ghoul re second season, my nigga. But before we even start, you know I gotta show some love to some of my niggas out there that informed me about this shit in the first place because you boys are the real MVPs. Also, thank you guys so much for all the love and the support recently. It truly means the world to me and I'm sorry if it seems like I'm coming off a little aggressive right now or a little angry, but that ain't the case. Your boy can't be any more happy, but I'm just prepared. I am ready. My body is ready. My nuts are ready. For Eto, especially, Kaneki, Tolka, anybody else that want to come, we are in here. But the real question is, are you ready, my boy? Are you prepared as much as I am? Are you ready to see what this new season has in store for us? And one other thing for all my manga readers out there, I understand that some of you guys don't like the anime, you don't like how they've structured the story, the format, the whole adaptation, and I totally get that. Some of you boys have been telling me to, you know, fuck off with the anime and just stick to the manga, and I'm sorry to tell you this right now, I can't do that. For one, I actually do enjoy the anime, and a majority of people want me to watch and react to it. Another thing is, I just don't have the time in my day to sit down and read the whole manga. Am I saying it's not worth the time and it's not enjoyable to read it? Fuck no. We all have our preferences and tastes and format. And at the end of the day, we're all Tokyo Ghoul fans. We all like the same thing. We should not dislike and hate each other for liking two formats of the same subject. I fuck with both sides heavy. Whether you're an anime watcher or a manga reader, we need to respect each side because like I said, we all have the same interests at the end of the day. So for all my viewers, my boys, my niggas watching right now, throw all that shit out the window. You ain't a manga reader, you ain't an anime watcher. You a Tokyo Ghoul fan in here just like your boy. Sorry for going on a little rant there, it's just something that I've seen lately that I felt like I just needed to talk about, but PSA over boys. I hope you guys do enjoy the video today. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you do enjoy the content. Also, leave in the comments down below what you think of Tokyo Ghoul, what you think of the episode, what you want to see from your boy next. I hope you boys stick around for the wild ride and keep rocking with your boy. Thank you for the love and support like always. But other than that, let's get straight into the fucking video, am I right? Yo, what are we getting ourselves into right now, my boys? Okay, I saw this in the opening. Oh shit, it's the crew? Is that Psycho? Is that girl Toka? Fuck, they going to war? Ow! That nigga is crazy. That boy is crazy right there. Yo, what the fuck? Wait, this is in the present, right? This looks like it's in the future. That boy Juzo? That boy Juzo? Where's my boy at? What the fuck is that? My baby girl right there. My girl Eto. I don't give a fuck if she a bloodthirsty ghoul. She malicious? She evil? She can get it any day, my boy. Any day. Where is my boy at? Is he a black reaper now? Oh, there's the boy! There's the boy! There's the boy! Yo, he looking crazy right now. He looking crazy. He look like he about to kill somebody. Oh, shit, nigga. Yo, he ain't fucking around. You better tell him what he needs to know. Yo, alright. Yo, that nigga looking mad crazy. Yo, Kaneki ain't fucking around. That boy better tell him. That boy right there is strong. They're gonna, they're gonna have to fight. I already know. It just it gotta happen. His, he looking dead. He looked dead in his eyes. That nigga has ascended. Yeah, it's Hinami. Okay. Baby girl on the big screen. I saw this on the fucking uh, preview too. Atoka's brother. A ghoul. She literally just showed the whole world that she's a fucking ghoul. 14? Ho oh wait, okay, wait. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> okay, this is a flashback, I think. This is a flashback. This is a flashback, nigga. This is a flashback. We finally get backstory on Eto. Okay. This boy is always getting his ass beat. Damn, she alone? It's my girl right there. Well, soon to be. She's only 14 right now. FBI about to come after my ass. Okay, she mad. 
She mad at the the coffee shop owner? Why you gotta be mad at why you gotta be mad at him like that? That's my boy. She a neat? They writing their fan fiction? Yo, that's flesh, nigga. Yo, that's flesh, nigga. She a ghoul now? You about to get eaten, my boy? <laughs> this boy is sweating his ass off. Yeah, she go. She running for like president or mayor or some shit? What? What? what the hell is going on? Panaki looking like he ain't fucking around no more. He ain't no bitch no more. He look mad serious. She's a cutie, man. She's a cutie. I can't get over that. Yo, where is this going? Are they about to eat this nigga? Yo, I can't get over this nigga look too serious right now. God damn. They also look better together than him and Toka, but you haven't seen Toka that much. That nigga the one-eyed king? I forgot this guy's name, but... Oh, it's Nimuro. Okay, thank you. Okay, now why is she in handcuffs? Yo, what the hell is going on? Yo, what the fuck is going on right now? Okay, they're about to lock her up then. So is Kaneki. That's what I'm saying. Rize too? Oh shit, nigga. Alright, they related? Rize and Eto related? Yo, nigga, I'm still fucking lost. Yo, <laughs> I'm still fucking lost. Okay, they looking for okay, they looking for that guy then. Oh, okay. Okay, we get in action. Oh, they found that nigga. Oh fuck. Shachi. It's over, nigga. Oh shit, Shachi. Nah, that's Arima. Oh, he about to get his ass beat. Oh, Damn, he fucking all them boys up. Yeah, that's, a, that's the fucking boy Arima. Damn, dude. He ain't even looking like he's trying. He's smiling. Oh, it's over. my boy. Fuck. God damn. That's overkill, Arima. God damn. Please, she dead. Well, technically. Uh, damn, that boy got his ass fucking handed to him. Where's Toka at, though? Where's my girl Toka at? I don't know if that was a typo. He wants to help or he wants to be helped. I already forgot this nigga's name. Man, poor Hinami, man. Shit, I still have trouble understanding the fucking One-Eyed King shit. How the fuck is that opening and closing? Inside their bellies? Oh. And he got fucking serious. Damn, he flipped that switch fast. Toka? Oh, his, his, yeah, his boy? Yeah, the crew? The OG crew? Of course, the OG crew. Oh, they about to break in. Oh, shit. Yo. Damn, what the fuck's going on? Did Kaneki just release everybody? Pretty sure that's what just happened. We out here. We out here. Oh, okay. Okay, so he, he looked more alive right there. Yo, that next episode about to be crazy. Yo, what the fuck is going on? Holy shit. I felt like they skipped so much stuff because I'm lost. I'm completely out of the loop. If somebody knows what the hell happened leading up to this point, Please inform me in the comments below because holy shit, the episode was still lit. Eto's still a cutie, but goddamn, I, I don't know what the hell is going on. Overall, I thought the episode was pretty okay. I didn't think it was anything too special. There was definitely some interesting things in there like Eto being related with Rize and the whole V clan shit. I don't know. I got to look into this some more because I'm still fuzzy on that. But holy shit, Kaneki? Kaneki's character looks badass as fuck, my boy. The character development is unreal. The Black Reaper, by far, has to be my favorite form of Kaneki. No questions asked. But yeah, guys, like I said, I thought they discussed some interesting stuff. Like, I like seeing Rize and Eto's backstory. That was cool. And that nigga Arima fucked that boy Shachi up. God damn. He impaled him, th then he hit him with the lightning shit. God damn, you got you really had to do him like that though. You really had to do him like that. Other than that, though, really, there's not really too much to talk about. Like I said, I thought the episode was just okay. You know, it's nothing too serious. Uh, definitely some interesting topics. Like I said, you know, uh, I'm curious to see what the next episode is because a bunch of niggas are breaking out. 
and Kaneki and Hinami got reunited so I guess we just have to wait for that but nonetheless I hope you boys did enjoy today's video let me know if I should do more of these anime reaction type of things and let me know what anime I should react to also guys thank you guys so much for all the love and the support it truly means a lot to me it really helps you boy out you know don't forget to click that like button subscribe more content all the way like usual also don't forget to follow my Twitter but other than that guys it's been Ivory hope you boys have a good one take care of yourselves I'll see you in the next one I'm out